Welcome to Mastering and Guide Learning Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone, here we have another uh, good question about the mitral regurgitation. In those uh, mitral clips, or generally in those cases that we have multiple jets, or they are eccentric and we don't see a very clear pizza, correct pizza, or in those cases that we have uh, non-holocystolic non uh, regurgitation. For example, on this two case, you can see color M mode on mitral valve. This is mid-systolic to late-systolic regurgitation or early uh, systolic regurgitation. So in those cases, how we can uh, evaluate severity of the regurgitation and grading? Because the plan for treatment will be based on the severity of the uh, disorder. As uh, you know, uh, the most accurate uh, for any regurgitation, any valve, is volumetric, that we measure volume of the regurgitation, that in the, for the cases of the MR here, for example, or generally in other valve, we have three type of the volumetric evaluation, PISA, continuity equation, and CMR, cardiac magnetic resonance, or uh, M cardiac MRI. We use any of those three techniques that is more quant uh, the most accurate and reliable technique for grading that is, they go to the category of volumetric. Uh, on the PISA, this three situation, PISA will not be accurate because we have two jet here, the eccentric jet here, and non holocystolic So PISA we cannot use in those uh, cases the only remain is two technique, continuity equation and CMR. I'm not going to talk about CMR in this lecture. Another one, I will prepare a detailed CMR. On this one, I am going to talk exactly step by step how we can uh, grading MR in this lecture, but generally it goes to any other valve by continuity equation. But I, before I go there, I have to mention that in any other situation, including this situation, still we use the other parameter and factor for corresponding our finding. For example, left atrial size, systolic function of the ventricle, pulmonary vein doppler, pulmonary pressure, pulmonary pressure, IVC, all those, all of them, we put together and based on that continuity equation, then finally we come to the result that what grade of uh, that valvular disorder we have. Now let's go do and see how we do step-by-step step grading in these situations. 